Hi everybody, it's Amy from Bargain Beauty. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. If you enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. And as always, I'll talk to you down in the comments. I read every single comment, so if I don't respond, I at least make sure I give you a heart so you know that I read your comment. Let's talk about what I purchased today. I got two boxes of the fish fillet great value. They were only $3.08 for 10 fillets. Now I've never had these before. Meat is an issue in our area. If there is meat, it's super expensive. So I'm trying to find alternatives. And these seem like a good deal, 308 for 10. That's 20 for like six something. I think that's a good deal. The salt was $2.65. Another thing that's hard to find in my area are their tortillas. So I was able to actually get two of these today. They had a lot more but I only wanted to get two, one for the freezer and then one that we'll be using this week. These were $1.74. I did purchase the pasta roni angel hair pasta with herbs because I need some noodles. I like the noodles with the little herbs. It makes it quick and easy sometimes. You don't feel like peeling potatoes or doing all that. And they're yummy. I was able to find sugar. I found a little teeny flower last week at Dollar Tree this because they were able to find sugar at Walmart, so that's good. Walmart did not have flour today. I don't ever normally purchase these, but again, we are having trouble finding reasonably priced meat. So these were $3.50. I figured I can do something with them. And then I just grabbed Canadian bacon. Never purchased these either. But I thought if I make homemade mac and cheese, I can put some ham in it. We can make sandwiches. We'll find a way to use this. And that was $3.50. And then I got crescent rolls and these were just 89 cents. These were more than I'd like to have spent. $8.65 for six 100% Angus beef burgers. Maybe that's a good deal, I don't know. These are not something I normally purchase. But I feel like we got some options. And actually sometimes it's good to use other things that you normally wouldn't buy, right? I purchased a ton of the potatoes these are only a dollar a piece it's a great stock up pantry item I used my last one today to make shepherd's pie just great to have on hand and you don't need milk for these which is even better it lasts forever so I purchased 12 of them for a dollar and then I did grab veggies if you've seen my last few grocery hauls I hadn't been purchasing veggies because we were using up what we have we do still have some frozen broccoli uh, in the fridge but the canned veggies are gone so I grabbed six sweet peas three carrots no three corn sorry and three string beans because we like peas the most so that's that and they're 50 cents each lunchables dollar 24 i got four of the ham and cheese that cookie is so good that little lemon cookie is my favorite and then the pizza with pepperoni so for each light brown sugar i ended up getting the big bag by accident i, I don't know why i did that i don't even know how much this was because I planned on getting a small bag that was like $1.34, but somehow I ended up with the big bag. And another meat alternative, I mean it is meat, but you know what I'm saying, was the Tyson, and these were I think about $6, just a little less than $6. So that wasn't too bad, I didn't think. We did get chicken tenders, um, nope, chicken nuggets we got from our Aldi Instacart order. But I needed like chicken, you know, like you want to do chicken parm or you want to just make, you know, you guys get what I'm saying. I purchased a pair of swim trunks, $8.96. I also purchased the straw dispenser that stands up, but for video purposes, it's laying down on the table. This was $3.68. I needed straws anyway, so I never have anywhere to put the straws once I open the bag. Perfect. And then I got these tie backs, six dollars and forty-eight cents. And I purchased a two-piece short and shirt set here. Hard to show on camera. And this was nine ninety-seven. Oh, a lot of you guys will ask me like, I thought your daughter was like older and in college. She is, but I have nieces and nephews, and when I find stuff that I think they'll like, I pick it up. I needed a drill, so I purchased this one for nineteen ninety-nine. It was the least expensive before you could use like the little handheld battery ones. So it's like the battery one was $9.99 and then it had the rechargeable battery. This one was $19.99 and then it just went up from there. But yeah, 
you know, because I'm Mrs. Fix-It. I purchased the Eclipse Rod. It's the black iron, and it was $15.96. It's a room darkening wrap rod, but I'm actually going to hang it from the ceiling. Stronger metal brackets, because I want to use it for something kind of cool. I'm tiny living. I'm in a small space, and I have to make do with this space, so I'm actually going to build a little closet, but like a pretty one. At the Dollar Tree, I purchased two of the cooked shrimp, and these are just two ounces. I have cooked with these guys, and I do like them. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. I made uh, butter garlic pasta, and I put shrimp, and it was really, really yummy. Actually, really good. So, for two bucks, two ounces each. So, four ounces for two bucks. You guys can decide if that's worth it for you or not. Pepper stir fry, I grabbed two bags. I break these down and then I have them in the freezer on hand when I want to make different things, especially now, not shopping as often. It's nice to have these kind of items on hand. And then I found two of the aloe vera gel. I did get a big 32 ounce hand sanitizer a couple weeks ago. So I think I'm going to be okay and if I am, that's fine. But I do have alcohol that I could make my own hand sanitizer with so I can use these in the summer if I need to. They're not going to go to waste. I just grabbed two. They had just put them out. So there's plenty for everyone. Two little fun items. These are going to be my little summer drink beverage holders. I grabbed the USA because I love that so much. Isn't that really cool? And I grabbed this one too because they like had maybe four left. And I was like, oh, I'm not missing out. I really, really liked these. What else? Oh, I got Chef Wardy. I don't love, but I think it's important to have some things in your stockpile. I'm going back to prepping more. I used to prep a lot on my channel in the beginning, and I stopped doing that because a lot of stuff wasn't being utilized or I could go to the store so often, I didn't really need to prep or coupon anymore. But now with the way things are the way they are, did that even make sense? With the way things are the way they are, it's good to have some things on hand in your stockpile. I also purchased the Italian style breadcrumbs and the panko breadcrumbs. Now, I hadn't seen this particular one at my store before. Maybe you guys have seven ounces for a dollar. And this one is 13 ounces. So, again, stockpile. I love olives, but a lot of times they have like a little bit of an aftertaste. These are like the best black olives ever, and they're only a dollar. So, I grabbed four cans of those. I also purchased this little desk lamp. I don't know if it's going to work really well or not. It was up by the cash register. I thought that could be kind of cute for a night light. And what else did I purchase? I purchased a mop, which isn't very exciting, but that was from Walmart. Oh, and I got some new bedding. I'll show you that. I purchased a Better Homes and Garden full queen quilt. This was on clearance for $44. The king clearance was 52 and then the twin was 28 just to give you guys an idea. Now, we don't have a lot to choose from at my Walmart because it's really, really small. So, we have four quilts to pick from, and I don't like comforters. So, this was what it is. It will match my decor, though, so that works really well for me. I'm really happy about it. Yeah, $44. I'd love to be at TJ Maxx and be able to pick from a slew of them right now, but that's not going to happen. So, this is what we went with. So for one of my nephews, I pick up this bedding set. It includes one comforter, one sham, and one sheet set. It's reversible. It's super cozy, like super soft, which is really nice. $29.94 for five pieces of your zone. Again, we don't have a lot to pick from, but this is super soft. So that's a plus. That's a bonus. Walmart's prices are getting a little high, I think. What do you guys think? So the last item I'm going to show you guys is the Mainstays Folding Tray Table. Nothing super fancy, $9.94. Great for doing a puzzle on, that way you don't have to put it on your main table. Or great for plants, or great to pull up to you while you're eating dinner, watching your TV. For $10, what a great investment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to do so. Hit the thumbs up button. And I will definitely be reading every single one of your comments. Thanks, guys. 
I just want to personally thank all the truckers and all the employees of all these stores that are working so hard right now to make sure that we have the supplies that we need. So thank you guys so much to the workers in the stores, to the people getting the food and the supplies to the stores who are literally sleeping in their trucks overnight to make sure we have what we need. I just want to say thank you.